Today you'll be making this thing here. Hello, welcome back. I'll be showing you how to make a custom fire and MC creator. So first we want to do is go up here, do this little film with the little plus there, click on that. And we're going to be making a custom animation for the fire. So you can either make your own and add the frames here, or you can make it the easy way by doing add frame from template fire I'm going to make it a bit of a bluish color something like that and hit add you can go up here and test it and you can speed it up by making the number slower or make it go slower by making the number bigger like that I'm going to keep it as two because it looks the nicest once you're done there save it do block fire hit OK OK now that we have our custom animation here for the fire go to global variable add new name what you want I'm going to have it as blue fire and variable and then make sure it's this one here and global map Hit OK, make sure this is false here, go into here, make a block, blue fire, choose your custom animation for the fire, do cross model, do this one here, and if you want it to have a different size hitbox, um, customize it here, but I'm happy with the size of it. In materials go down to file put it where you want I'm just going to put in miscellaneous step sound uh, it's not really a fire one so I'm just going to have lantern yeah okay uh, yep set these all to zero and down here has gravity can walk through block yep custom drop I'm just going to have it as air make sure it's zero here so it actually drops nothing Affected by silk touch now and then and this one here have it as this here so it has no tool and hit next and you might want to have be a certain color on the map it's blue fire so I'm going to make it blue on map and destroyed by piston because that's how normal fire is works you can have it spawn particles I'm going to do smoke normal and make it that big and always on, no GUI, and in here, update tick, hit create, go into world management, play out these accordions, this sound, and we want it to be block fire ambient, this one here, then save it, now when block destroyed by player, Make another one, then to fire out. Same thing, but instead of ambient, put it to block fire out. Something like that. Yep. Wait, that's not the one. Where is it? Here it is. Let's save. Then when destroyed by explosion, do the same thing. Okay, when entity collides in block, go to create one here. Okay, go into entity, then go to this one here. And this is how much damage you want to be dealt. I'm going to have a three and have it in, not general, to have it in, in fire or on fire. I'm just going to do in fire and go into custom variables set to the variable that you have before put it to true and make sure you made your global variable before you make the block because sometimes when you go to do it you can't actually see it so just make it beforehand hit save and then all done in here and then hit save okay this next step is completely optional but 
This is if you're on the overlay when you walk into the fire. And first we want to do is make a protocol. Aim it. Blue fire. Overlay. Off. Create it. Go into template library. Do. Check type of block below. Take this out. Put the wire back in. Delete that. Change that to air. Then to do. Set it to your global variable, then to make sure it's false and connect it up in here. Go down to on player tick update, save it. Whoops, save it now. Once you have to do that, time to make that sort of overlay. Go down to overlay, name it blue fire overlay or whatever your fire color is and then in here you might want to zoom to fit add your overlay I have mine here choose it there we go and make sure it's condition true if true and make sure it's this because I'd recommend you open up Minecraft and see if it actually works and if it comes up and once you're happy with the size of it just delete that go into custom variable and change it to that now this is all done in here now we can save that okay next is if you want the fire to disappear by itself like in normal minecraft we want to go into the update tick Go into template library, do check type of block below, and then change this to nether rack. And if that's the case, place block here, that one, and go into this little settings thing here, drag that over to here and else if do place air so this is saying check the type of block of the fire below if it's this one keep it as the fire so place it as that if not place air getting rid of it okay join onto here hit save okay once you've done the update tick we want to go into the blue fire go to this page here and with the tick rate, so 20 ticks is one second. So I want it to last for four seconds, around about there. So I'm just going to have it as 80. And hit save. Okay, now that we have done everything, the overlay, the fire going out by itself, that sort of fire, the animations, we can run Minecraft and see if we did everything right. Okay, Minecraft have the launch, go into single player, cry world, and let it load. Okay, the game have launched, and we have our fire here. I want to make a special flint and steel or copper chloride or something. If you don't know what that is, it's the stuff that you put it into a flame, like a Bunsen burner or something. It'll make the flame actually go blue. Okay, as you can see, it disappears by itself. However, if you get the nether rack, it will keep going. That one disappears, that one keeps going. And it works just like normal fire. You put water, it puts it out. You have the fire. It'll burn the blocks. Whoops. Forgot that the fire disappears. Then why not just use this fire behind here? You hop in it. We have the custom overlay of the fire. And went up in flames. And that's the custom fire right there. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.